I'm William Scott, and I'm a makeup artist, and I'm here today to show you a uniliner look. I was a teenager when I discovered what would become the giant industry of YouTube tutorials and makeup. I didn't know that I could make it a career. I didn't know that I could use it for myself. I had been scared away from makeup, but watching it was innocent and harmless and like easy for me to absorb. I wear makeup when I want to feel colorful, when I want to let people know that I'm not a boy, or at least not the boy that they expect me to be. There is no one way to express our gender physically. It's actually undefinable. <laughs> and that's the beauty of it, is that it can be anything. I might present male, but I am non-binary. The easiest way to encourage people to change their perceptions of gender is to just allow them to express themselves. Say out loud that I'm tired of these archetypes. We don't change our habits until we ourselves are tired of our habits. From a business standpoint, the beauty industry is still very binary because they try to sell to women certain products and they try to sell to men other products. But the people who are driving the frontier of makeup are usually queer, very creative, or they are inspired by queer people and they're inspired by other creatives and they collaborate with these people. And that's where the new ideas are coming from. Today, I'm gonna to be demonstrating my take on a uniliner look. My first step is gonna be creating the shape with pencil. I'm gonna use this NYX pencil. The shade is called Moss. I like to only put it on the outer and inner corner, just softening the edges of the pencil where I drew it on. Now I'm taking another NYX pencil in Seafoam, and I'm gonna draw this on the upper lid on the inside. Now that I've gotten my liner base on, I'm gonna reinforce the shapes that I've created with eyeshadow. The first color that I'm gonna to use to reinforce the underline is Wild. It's from this BH Cosmetics palette. Now I'm blending a little bit of Moss and Wild from that same BH palette. And I'm gonna use the lighter color just to diffuse the green that I have. I'm gonna take this powder blue from this Morphe palette to reinforce the liner that I put on the inner corner. So I'm just highlighting my inner corner with Cuff. And now I'm gonna apply a little bit of this color Sunbird from the ColourPop palette over the center of the lid. And I'm gonna connect from one inner corner to the other with the same color. I'm just going in with a very precise pencil and firming up the line that I created. The top line, I'm gonna keep blended and blurry. I'm gonna use this lily pink and this orchid pink from the BH Cosmetics palette. And I'm just gonna use that right under the inner corner of my brow bone. So now I'm gonna take this brilliant color from the ColourPop Cosmetics palette, and I'm gonna highlight the inner corner of my eye a little bit more. Last step is going to just be defining everything. I'm gonna use Sabbath Pencil from Urban Decay, define my lash line a little bit, and then I'm gonna finish with mascara. I'm gonna take this Tarte mascara. I'm just gonna push that into the very base of my lashes, mostly through the center of my eye. Then I'm using the L'Oreal Voluminous Original in this beautiful cobalt blue. I'm gonna push that into the outer corner. I'm gonna use this Benefit 24 Hour Brow Setter. Now I'm going to highlight my brow bone with the Fenty Matchstick. What shade is this? Pearl with three R's. I'm using the Mented Foundation Sticks. You can use a dense buffing brush and then you can use a moisturizer or a primer, whatever you want to use to dilute it a little bit. Next, I'm gonna use my Fenty Concealer. I'm using the Mented Cosmetics Loose Powder, pushing that in to make sure that it really sets. And I'm gonna take a bigger fluffy brush all over my face. Set that with a setting spray. Next is blush. I'm using Mented Cosmetics Peach for the Stars blush. A little bit of more highlight. Before we're out the door, lip gloss. I'm using lip gloss from MAC. This shade is called Magically Delightful, and it absolutely is. All done. This look makes me feel colorful, a little fierce, and definitely ready to dance. Our current definition of beauty has been defined by very narrow perspectives, but people are bored. Once you free yourself from having to perform within these archetypes, it's much easier to accept other people when you notice that they are not fitting into these archetypes. And you just let people be. <laughs> it's as simple as that. 